So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining why you guys shouldn't buy LEGO at retail price and why I probably won't be buying sets at retail price for possibly the rest of my life. I don't know about that, but um, yeah, let's get into it. So obviously, there will be a few one-off sets that are just so good, so amazing, so beautiful that I need it day one. So I'll just save up the money so I can buy it day one. And, you know, that will happen. So it's not like I'm um, not, I'm waiting for every set. Oh my gosh, my cat. Say hello. Meow. <laughs> Anyways, it's not like I'm waiting for every single set to go on sale. There will be those sets that I just buy day one because I really want the set. And then also some of the bigger sets like the at, -AT um, 20th Anniversary Slave 1 and the upcoming Moth Gideon's TIE Fighter. Those sets really don't go on sale until they retire. So those I will also probably just buy at retail just because I don't want to wait for them to retire because that is like a long time. It's like a whole one or two years or something like that. But anyways, besides those sets, I think that I'm just going to be waiting for them to hit shelves on for a sale price. And the easiest and most consistent sale price that I have seen is the 20% off sale. Now, you can find the sale um, most often on walmart.com and target.com, but I think a little bit more consistent on Walmart. And Walmart will basically put most of the wave, if not all of it, besides those, you know, really big sets, but Walmart, after two or three months of the sets being out, they will put most of the wave for 20% off. So let's use this nearest January wave um, as an example. And let's see, I do want every set in that wave, the X-Wing, the TIE Fighter, and the Trouble on Tatooine, and then the Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter. I want all of those sets. But I don't really want to spend, um, how much is it? $130 on that entire wave, just because, you know, I don't really want to, and I can handle waiting for those sets to go on sale. So, let's bring over the calculator and let's do the math. So, starting off with the biggest set, um, the X-Wing, 20% off, $50 is $10 off. So, Immediately, right there, you can save yourself $10 if you just wait a few months and get yourself a $40 X-Wing. Now, 20% off, similar to um, the X-Wing, is the TIE Fighter. 20% off, $40, is $8. So, you can buy yourself a $32 TIE Fighter, which is actually really crazy if you think about it. But, moving on... Um, 20% off, $30, you know, that's $25 trouble on Tatooine right there. And then 20% off, $10 is $8. So basically you're going to be buying the um, <laughs> Millennium Falcon Microfighter for $10 anyways, plus tax. And yeah, so right there, you've saved yourself $26. So that's basically a 501st battle pack right there. And I am 100% willing to wait a few months for a free 501st Battle Pack. Because if you're going to buy it at full price, um, then you wouldn't have been saving that money. And yeah, so that's personally what I think I'm going to be doing in the future. Is just buying these sets for 20% off. Now, LEGO clearance is a whole different thing. Lego clearance is just completely by chance. If you find it, that's amazing. Star Wars sets are really rare to go on Lego clearance, though. Like, I have not seen any Star Wars clearance at my Walmart ever since I started our hardcore collecting. So, yeah, that's my, that's my realization that I had is that, like, I can save myself around $30, 20 $25 on every wave um, 
and yeah so that's today's video and I thought I would just share this information for you I know Life Brick Studios um, s says all the time that you should only buy Lego at a discounted price and I am starting to agree with him a lot so I don't know that that was just this is just a video that I decided to make because I thought that it might help some of you um, save some money on Lego because obviously I'm making money um, that isn't quite keeping up. I mean, it's keeping up perfectly fine um, with this addiction, hobby, whatever you want to call it. But it is nice for um, some of us who can't make money or aren't monetized yet on YouTube um, as quickly as others, you know, like... SW Bricks and Figs and TVC um, to save some money on some Lego. So, yeah, that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I like and subscribe because we're getting really close to 100. I can taste it. I can feel the taste, or I can taste the taste of 100 subs on my taste buds on my tongue. Okay, whatever. Yeah, see you in the next video.